dear students today we are going to discuss about the difference between bridges and routers there are two diagrams it's created and it's one it's used for bridge and the second one i used for router so before move on to the the difference between bridges and routers first i explain how the structure is created what the ip address it set for both diagrams and what kind of things we have to do before we start with the today's lecture so coming to the first diagram there are six pc which is connected with hub and the two hubs which is connected by a bridge and the ip address what it's set for all the six computers today i used dynamic ip address for all the six computers so just you click on the pc and go to desktop select ip configuration by default the static the menu it's enabled just make it as dynamic ip that is dhcp that is ipv4 address subnet mask it will come automatically just you do only the small change and you close the window and i did all the remaining pcs which i used in dynamic ip address now coming to the, the connection for both diagrams today i used automatic connection type that is go to that automatic connection that's the first one automatically choose the connection type i not used any kind of uh, different uh, cables just to know the difference between bridges and routers just to simply i connected with automatic connection type for both diagrams and it's coming to the second diagram here it's a six computer which is connected with hub and the two hubs it's connected with routers the coming to the ip address of the second diagram today i used static ip address just already we discussed many videos how to set static ip address as it is go to desktop and ip configuration what the ip address i set for network connection 1 and 2 this is 10.1.1 2 3 and the next series which is used for router ip address here coming to that the ip address window that first pc that is pc6 it's a 10.1.1 and subnet mask it comes automatically and the default gateway address it's nothing but router ip address it's a 10.1.4 right and as it is you do the all the remaining pc and set the static ip address so it's coming to the network 2 here it's a start from 20.1.1 and for the uh, that is network connection 2 default gateway address is 20.1.4 right okay so for the network connection 1 set the ip address as it is it's mentioned here and the default gateway address it's a 10.1.4 for network connection 1 20.1.1.4 for network connection 2 now it's coming to the router go to configuration and select gigabit ethernet 0 by 0 by 0 and the make the port status should be on and the router ip address is 10.1.4 and subnet mask 255.0.0 and it coming to that the network connection to as it is you go the same way and select gigabit ethernet 0 by 0 by 1 and the ip address for the router it's a 20.1.4 and make the port status should be on okay so the the structure 
how it created and what kind of IP address we set for both the diagrams, it's over. Now, it's coming to the, the major difference between bridges and routers. So, first it's a start from the, the main objective of bridge and router. The objective of a bridge, it's used to connect the various LAN connections. So, each LAN, it considers as different segment. So, this is segment 1, this is segment 2. You can extend up to how much the segment you need. You can divide as it is as per your requirement. Whereas coming to the router, router it's used to connect different networks. This is network 1 and this is 2. So that first difference is the bridge is used to connect various LANs whereas router is used to connect different networks. So the second point when we are using the bridge. The bridge, it reads the MAC address of your computer. How many computers which is connected with the bridge? Bridge, it always reads the MAC address of your computer and redirect the packets from source to destination. In case if you try to send the message from PC0 to PC5, the bridge, it reads the MAC address of PC0 and PC5 and redirects the packets via hub. Now coming to the router, router it reads the IP address of your computer. So in case if you want to send the packets from for example PC6 to PC9, the router it reads the IP address of PC6 that is 10.1.1 and for the PC9, it's 20.1.1. It reads the IP address and it sends the packet via hub. Now, it's coming to the next one. The bridge, it's used in data link layer. Whereas the router, it's used in or it works in network layer. It's coming to the, the next major difference. Bridge, it will not use any kind of IP address. So, there is no need any routing table. Whereas, the router, it's used a routing table to store all the IP address. It's set for the computer. And the, the last difference is, Bridge, it works on a single broadcast domain. What it mean? The bridge, even we are using different segment, both segments or both the LAN connection 1 and 2, it's used in the same protocol structure. Whereas the router, we can use different protocol structure and it can be used more than one broadcast domain, we can use it when we are using router. So, it's coming to the conclusion. When we look at the, the major difference between bridges and routers, bridges, it reads the MAC address, router, it reads the IP address. Bridge, it will not use any kind of IP address. Whereas router, it's pause the message, it's based on the IP address. And bridge, it will not use any different protocol structure. Whereas router, we can use different protocol structure to transfer the message from source to destination. Okay, now I am going to show you how the packets is transferred from the first diagram and second diagram. Just I place a message from PC0 to PC5. So the connection is successful. Okay. Just I go to simulation window and I click the play button. The 
the message is transferred from PC0 to hub and it reaches to bridge 0. It transferred to hub 1 and it coming to PC5. When we are using hub, the hub is simply redirects the packets to all the PC and the acknowledgement it sent back to hub 1 reaches to bridge 0. It's come to hub 0 and finally it reaches to PC 0. Okay. Now just I make up one more message which I show for the second diagram. So the message is transferred from PC 6 to PC 11. Go to simulation window. And now look at that how the data is transferred from PC6 to PC11. The PC6 send the packets to hub 2 and reaches to router 0 and it comes to hub 3. Finally, it comes to PC11. Now the message is written back that is acknowledgement it written back from PC 11 to router 0 and reaches to hub 2. You look at the, the simulation panel what's the event and what's the time it taken what's the lost device everything it's displayed step by step in the simulation window right okay the finally the message is successful i hope you can understand that the bridges and routers difference still if you have any queries you please post it in the comment window thanks for watching